Native eastern brook trout range from eastern Canada through northeastern Georgia. They are found in 20 additional states with sustaining populations in 14 states outside their original range. Trout in New England spend their adult life in cold headwater streams, large rivers, ponds and large lakes in inland and coastal areas. The beautiful coloration of brook trout is distinct for this species. The back, dorsal and caudal fin have vermiculations, wavy, wormy lines on their surfaces. The sides have iridescent blue spots, large yellow spots and some small red spots circled by blue. The front edge of each of the lower fins is set off by a white bar with a black stripe edging into the reddish colored fin. In October and November the trout prepare to spawn. Cold water temperatures slow the rate of growth, while warmer waters increase the growth rates. Fertilized eggs develop safely just below the surface of the gravel where they are buried. About 30 days after spawning, eyes and spine of the developing trout can be seen through the shell. These eyed eggs hatch into sac fry or alvin in another 45 to 60 days, depending on water temperatures. The sac fry develop and grow for an additional six to eight weeks in the red using their yolk sac for nutrients. As the stream temperature rises, they emerge as fry in the early to mid spring. Growing fry or par have dark vertical bars on their sides called par marks which camouflage the fish. Par feed for between zero to three years before they become mature adults and able to spawn. They grow to a length of 4 to 16 inches, with 6 to 8 inches being the average length in New England waters. At spawning, males are bright red on the stomach with a hooked jaw known as a kite. Females may be mottled with darker, par-like markings, or color may remain unchanged. In October or November, the female trout will search for shallow water with a well-aerated gravel bottom. She fans the gravel with her tail fin to create a red, a nest-like depression in the stream bed. She lays some of her eggs in this red, and nearby adults and sometimes juvenile males fertilize the eggs with milt. Then the female expands the red just upstream or off to either side of the first red. The gravel from one spawning settles downstream covering previously laid eggs. She continues the process until all of her eggs have been laid. Smaller trout produce only about 50 to 100 eggs, with larger fish producing 1 to 2,000 eggs. The eggs are safe in the gravel until spring, when the fry emerge. Thus begins the challenging period the population will face before spawning in the fall and starting the cycle anew. When I was a young fish, just a little fry. I knew the way I was growing up. This fish in life. But now I'm grown and I'm cruising with some shad. All these dams in my way making me pretty mad because I'm a fish. I'm gonna spawn till I die. Yeah, I'm a fish. Now it wasn't that long ago Fish my feet did about But now I look around me Ain't many of us left around You know without no decent habitat It's pretty tough to stay alive